the other end of their. Okay. <clears throat> So mountain pose, feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, sitting bones down, core active, shoulders relaxed, and we'll do our warm up. Inhale, arms to shoulder level. Exhale, hands to your chest. Inhale out to the front. Exhale, clasp your fingers together. Press them to the floor and lift your heart. Get that spine stretching open. Pivot at your hips. Exhale over, stretch your back. Take a few moments, breathe, lift your sitting bones, get those legs stretching. And then knees slightly bent, work your way back up, lift your heart, drop your shoulders, and just breathe. Take a moment and feel your body. Inhaling, come upright, release your arms. Take a moment, focus inward. And again, inhale, arms to shoulder level. Hands to your heart, stretch to the front, shoulders down. And then clasp the other way behind you, spread your toes, push the hands slightly down as you lift your heart. And again, exhale, over. Move your chin around, let your neck release a little bit more. Hands toward your head for your shoulders. And then again, knees bent as you start at the bottom of the spine and wide to the top. Drop your shoulders, stretch your head back, spread your toes out, and don't forget to breathe. Inhale up, release your arms. And again, in mountain pose, just take a moment, feeling your spine getting activated. And we'll do the lateral motion and stretch our sides, so arms to shoulder level, palms to the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Clasp both hands together and bring your arms next to your ears. Pull your shoulders, shoulder blades, and sitting bones down. And then lean, no twist, over to the side. Stretch it out. Push the foot you're leaning away from down. And just take a moment to breathe. Feel those ribs stretching. Inhale back up. Keep the shoulders down and put the other hand to the front. Again, arms by your ears and stretch everything straight. Keep facing the front as you lean to the other side. The foot presses down as you lean away from it and out through your hands. And again, don't lean forward, just keep facing the front. And then inhaling, come back upright, release your arms and feel your sides. And we'll stretch the spine apart for our twist. So get that opening through the bones, arms stretching at shoulder level, palms up, hands above your shoulders, clasp your elbows, and again, bring your arms by your ears. Spread those toes out. Keep everything facing the front as you stretch. And then exhale and twist, turning to one side. A breath in. And exhale over. Deepen as far as you want into that twist. See if you can keep the weight on both feet evenly. And in the twist on an inhalation, work your way up and lift your heart. Remember, upper body back bend while you're twisting, never in the low back. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center, switch your arms around. And again, lengthen up and exhale to the opposite side. Another breath, exhale over. And again, just deepen as far as your body wants to go on this side. Check that your weight is still on both feet as evenly as you can. And then inhaling, work your way back up in the twist into that upper body for your back bend. Shoulders stand, elbows back, and don't forget to keep breathing. Inhale up, exhale around to the center. Bring your arms into extended mat and shoulders down, crown high, fingertips are reaching up, sink evenly into your feet. Keep your arms by your ears, pivot forward. Push the sitting bones slightly back. Get your body parallel to the floor as much as you can. Stretch it out. And then drop into ragdoll. You can just hang or you can bring your hands behind your legs. Pull in for a little more back stretch. And then arms at the front. And again, from the bottom of the spine, wind your elbow all the way back up. 
shoulders back and down a couple of times and into mountain pose. And just take a few moments feeling that circulation through that activated spine. And then bring your hands to your heart, look at them, and inhale, hands toward the ceiling, thumbs coming back, lifting your heart. Exhale, follow your hands to your heart, pivot at your hips, exhale, drop into right arm. Hands up under your knees on your shins into that halfway up position. Shoulders back toward your sitting bones, pushing back away from you, crown the other direction. Drop into ragdoll, knees slightly bent, hands together. Inhale to your heart, and again toward the ceiling, and another little back bend with those hands pulling back as you look at them. Exhale, hands to your heart, into mountain pose. As you get into your mountain pose, just take a moment again, feel what's going on for you today. Don't forget to keep breathing. And we'll do a balance practice. So spread your toes out. Make sure you're not gripping. Let them get that base of the toe, the ball of the foot area really connected. That's where we want the weight of the foot, not the toes themselves. Into the heel as well. Make sure your knee is going toward your second toe and then straighten it and pull that kneecap toward your thigh and tighten the front of your thigh a little bit. Feel the hips nice and open, both facing forward. Activate your core, ribs toward your spine and up. Feel that lengthening and that support in your low back. Ground to the ceiling. You can let your arms relax. Sink into that foot that you grounded. You bring the other one up a little or more or toward your heart. Come into it as deeply as you like. Make sure that that foot doesn't roll across the other leg, so kind of rolling at the top of the thigh for that. When you find your balance, circle your ankle. Want to make sure they're flexible and working for ease. And then flex and point with the foot before you put it back down, getting back into both feet. Exhale any stress from that side. Shift what worked, improve what you need to, getting that alignment, getting that activation in the core, getting those shoulders relaxing. Find that foot, make sure that knee goes toward the second toe once more. Sink into that base of the toe, ball of the foot area, and the heel evenly, not the toes, spread them out. And then sinking into that foot, bring your other leg up. And again, as far toward the chest as it wants to go, like your stability, let them be ankle when you're ready, both directions, something like a am getting it nice and worked out. Flex and point so we straighten it out before you put the foot back down. Exhale any stress from that and take a moment to breathe. Let's go back to your favorite balance foot, whichever one seemed better. Because when you do the better one first, it helps the other side to understand what it needs to do and improve. So again, get that ball of the foot area connected, everything just relaxing through the toes, spreading them out, everything lined up or active, shoulders relaxed, and again, bring that opposite foot. So a little bit more to hold under the leg or around the shoe. Just pull it in as much as you'd like. Take a moment there, just feel it. Hold it in as much as it wants to come. Take a breath. Exhale, tension. Maybe another breath or two. Relaxing, sinking into that grounded foot. And when you're ready, go ahead and release. Shift to the other side. Once again, see what worked, improve what you need to, because we always are looking to improve whatever we're doing. So again, sinking in, aligning, activating the core, relaxing the shoulders, getting everything aligned and ready for the second side. 
And again, just bring the foot up a little or more or hold around it and pull it in. Take a moment there, find your stability. Spread those toes out. Make sure it's working for you. Breathing, head toward the ceiling. Feel those adjustments. Breathe. Exhale, tension. And when you're ready, release back into standing mountain pose. Feel that stability of the feet. Go ahead, exhale any balance stress on that pose. For a moment to breathe and focus inward. Everything just releasing and relaxing. Let's do one more. Let's do tree. So once again, find your balance foot. On the other foot, so the knee goes out toward the side, going toward your toes again. So the whole leg is turning, keeping those hips out open to the front. Shoulders relaxed, core activated. Bring the heel up just above your ankle if you're feeling challenged. Or toward your calf. Knee out to the side as much as you can. Maybe push it a little bit back. If you want, you can bring the foot all the way up to your thigh. Push the thigh and the foot together. And to bring them to that position. If that works for you, you can stay there. Start in position. Or if you want, you can bring the foot up in front of your thigh and bring them down a little bit. And the foot and leg again push into each other. You can bring your hands to your heart if you find stability, or you can hold on to that foot if you need to for a little bit of reassurance. And then bring your knee back to the front, your foot down, releasing back into the knees. And let's just do our second side of that balance practice. So go ahead and get centered into your second foot, into the base of the toes and heel. Spread those toes out, no burping. Align everything all the way up. Core activated, shoulders back and down, crown to the ceiling. And when you're ready there, turn your whole foot the other direction. Bring the knee and toes back to the side as much as you can. And again, heel comes in toward your arch and the knee out to the side. Hips facing in front along with your shoulders to bring that heel up or the foot to the thigh or the calf rather and the foot to the thigh if you're ready to do that. Get your stability there if that works for you and stay there to keep that knee pushing back. Or bring the foot to the front and into that lotus position with the knee coming down. Find your stability. Spread your toes, reach the crown, keep activated through the core. Take a breath. And when you're ready to release, knee to the front, foot to the floor, releasing back into mountain pose. Exhale any stress. Feel that stability. And once again, just coming into mountain pose, bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, bring your hands up toward the ceiling. Lift your heart, thumbs back behind you. Swan dive forward, pivoting at your hips. Stretch out halfway down. Spine straight, arms straight, knees straight. Stretch it out. Exhale and release all the way down. Take a moment and breathe. Pull in with the hands behind the legs. Give a good stretch to your back. And exhale, releasing your arms. Bend your knees and let's go all the way to child's pose transition on the floor. Hips on your heels, hands, palms up, forehead down. Take a few breaths there, just releasing and relaxing any tension. And on an inhalation, sit up and come into your cross-legged position. Sitting bones behind you, core still activated for support on your spine. And of course, creatures of habit, we put that same leg in front, so switch the legs around and relax. 
We're going to bring the chin slightly into the indentation at the base of your throat. Just relax. Let the neck get a good stretch. Keep the shoulders back and down. Keep the core supporting your spine. And then hands one at a time to the back of your head. Make a moment and breathe. Exhaling tension. Let that back of your neck get a good stretch down. Just feel it release and relax. Stretching a little bit. And then when you're ready, bring your hands back down. Bring the chin back parallel to the floor. And then lift it toward the ceiling. Stretch out through the base of the skull. Take a moment and breathe. Lengthening with your jaw around. Stretch your face. Feel that front of your throat getting a little bit more lengthened. And then release your jaw and tip your head back upright. Shoulders relaxing down. Let's switch the legs so we get a little balance in our lower bodies. Sitting bones behind, core active, shoulders back and down, round to the ceiling, tip your ear over to one side. So remember, keep both shoulders down, no hunching up, just relaxing, breathing, feeling this opposite side getting a little stretch. And then take the hand you're tipping toward, bring that to the side of your head, add weight, not pressure. Just let it lengthen. Exhale and relax. If you love that, just stay right there. If you want a little more, you can bring the other hand to the floor, either fingertips or palm down. And again, just feel that side get a little extra lengthening and stretch to the side of your neck and shoulder. Remember, no pushing with that hand on your head, just add weight. Keep both shoulders relaxing down. And then releasing your hands, lift your head upright, and feel the difference on the two sides. So of course, yeah, we got to do the other one. Tip your ear over to the opposite shoulder, both shoulders down, core still active, spine still stretching up. Take a breath there, feeling the stretch begin. And then bring your hand to the side of your head. And again, weight, not pressure. Take a breath, just relaxing. Exhale, any tension through your neck, through your body. And again, just a little extra weight, not pressure with your hands. Just letting that neck stretch as much as it wants. Bring the other hand down, if you want to. <clears throat> Just relax. Let the stretch happen. <coughs> and again, after a few breaths, bring your hands back down. Tip your head back upright. And again, just feel what's going on through the sides of your neck. Take a moment, just breathing. And once again, switch your legs around. Sitting bones behind you, spine stretching out. Take your hand to the opposite knee, bring the other arm out in front for a twist. Sitting bones down, spine stretching apart. And then as you exhale, follow your hands around to the side toward the back. Drop it to the floor behind you. Kind of lift that hip bone, sitting bone that you're moving away from, and turn hips, ribs, and shoulder a little deeper into your twist. So your whole spine turns, not just your neck. Take a breath, just relax into that twist. Keep reaching up through the crown, just relaxing into it. And to release, bring your hand up, follow it back around to the center, and again, Hands to your left. Let's switch the legs and we'll twist one more time to the opposite side. So again, lengthening up from the sitting bones, getting that core active and the spine stretching apart. Hand to your knee, other hand out in front. Stretch it up. Exhale, follow that hand all the way toward the back. 
Bring the hand to the floor close to your body. Lift the hip you're moving away from. Just a little bit as you turn deeper. Hips, ribs, and shoulder turning to the side. Take a breath and exhale, deepening into your twist. And then bringing your hand up, follow it back around to the center and just feel your body a little bit more activated by that twist energy. Take a moment and breathe. And bring your feet to the end of the mat. Sitting bones behind you and activating the core, just roll slowly onto that surface and release. Take a moment breathing, bringing your shoulders down, letting your body relax, and your head roll gently side to side. Just take a moment breathing and relaxing, just allowing your body to sink into that surface beneath you. Deep breath, exhaling any tension. As you allow your body to release into that first support beneath you, just let it go. Heavy and relax. And allow your mind to drift, remembering it's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay, pay attention. So let the thoughts drift away as easily as you want. And just take a moment, focusing inward. Breathing deep, letting everything go. Softening your body, loading your mind, allowing your awareness to focus only on the peace within. Deepen your awareness of the peace and just be peace. And keep relaxing if you have extra time today. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however it feels right for you today. Stretching more fully as you breathe more deeply when you're ready for that Finally, you'll have a hug of appreciation. Sitting bones toward your heels, heels up toward your hips, and knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor, roll to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.